In this video, we will be reviewing the analysis sources available with the repository feature in MotiveWave. Analysis sources provide a way to share specific analysis or to access analyses from other MotiveWave users. Analysis sources are defined by a folder that exists in your local file system. You would need a service such as Dropbox or Google Drive to perform the sharing and synchronization. I have two instances of MotiveWave running here. I have Workspace 1, which will be used to publish analysis. And then I have Workspace 2 here, which will be used to read analysis as an additional analysis source. So now, if you're planning to share your analysis with other users, you would have to create an analysis source. That can be done via configure, repository. You'll notice that I have my local database selected so nobody can access my analysis because it's local. In order to make it publicly available, I can click on add an analysis source. I'd give it a name. So if I want to publish it to my group, I can put my group here. Now for directory, I would select a directory uh, available on a cloud-based file service such as Dropbox or Google Drive because you will need the service in order to synchronize the analysis files. Read only should be unchecked. If you're publishing or modifying analysis, then you're going to need to be able to write to the directory, so it should be read only should be unchecked. We'll click OK. Now you can have here additional sources as well, but we're going to click OK. And if I want to create, let's say, a new analysis, and I'll put here, let's say, group analysis, I'll make it empty. I click OK. Let's say I were to add some key levels here. here. Okay, and then I click Save. Now to publish it, the name that I added in the analysis source will show here under Save To, so My Group. So I'm going to publish this to My Group. I click OK. So now let me bring up Workspace 2, and this will represent one of the members in the group that wants to read your analysis. So I'll head over to Configure, Repository, and now I want to add an analysis source. And what I'm going to add is, first of all, I'm going to give it a name so I know where it's coming from, who the source is. So in this case, I can always put whatever I identify as a source, my mentor. The directory would be the directory located on the file sharing service and that folder would be shared by the publisher. So in this case my repository has been shared, I have access to it. I select it and I would have read only selected as I am not going to be writing to that folder, I am only going to be reading that analysis. I'll click OK. Again here, I can have as many sources as I'd like in this list here. Now the override repository, what that does is if I have an analysis from a source, such in this case my mentor, that has the same name as the one that I have, if I click override repository, I'm basically saying override mine with the one listed here. So this is what I want to do in this case, so I'll click Override Repository. Just in case my mentor's analysis and mine are the same, I want his over mine. So I'll click OK. And now you'll notice in the analysis list that the group analysis is available for Apple. So if I click on that, I now am able to read and see the analysis published by, in this case, my mentor or uh, the other Motive Wave user. Okay. So this wraps up this video, and we'll see you in the next.